Hi. So what we're going to be doing today, we're just going to be going through and looking specifically at this worksheet, uh, nuclear bombardment reactions. This is, this is, this can look a little confusing. Uh, I'm not going to pretend like it won't to some of you, and that's okay. The goal here is to just go through this and make sure that by the end of this that you have a reasonably good idea of how to do these. Uh, I don't want you to be freaked out or think that this is, this is impossible. It is not. It is something you can do, and we're going to make sure you can. So, something that I recommend you have. This is on Canvas. It's available. It is a, and it's in the, the PowerPoint slides as well. It's this really, really cool, helpful thing. Uh, this cool worksheet where it's just it's a cool little piece of paper diagram thing. Just showing you the helpful symbols for writing out uh, nuclear reactions. All right, because those this is going to matter now. And then also, again, your handy periodic table. You want to have that available at all times. So let's go through and just do a couple of these. So first, uh, so first, and we look at this one. It says boron, boron 10 plus a neutron results in the formation of another element and the release of an alpha particle. Now, the way we're going to be doing this, we are going to be writing the stuff on the left side of the equation first. So we're going to have to write out like boron 10. So We've got boron. Now, remember this, this thing here, this 10, that's the mass number. Remember, on top, we have protons plus neutrons. That's our mass number. The bottom thing that we write is just our protons. Now, do you know how many pro uh, protons boron has? I'm guessing you might not have that memorized. Maybe you do, though. Cool, good for you. Uh, it's 5. So you can look it up on the periodic table. Like, oh, it's 5. So we're going to put 5 down there says so boron 10 plus a neutron so it says plus a neutron so go and look at your little handy dandy chart here see that a neutron looks like that it's an n it's got a one on top it's got a zero on the bottom you can do it capital or lowercase i don't care no one will be mad at you so it's got a one because it's a mass number of one it is not a proton so you just put a zero there so it says it results in the, this results in the formation of another element and the release of an alpha particle. So the one thing we know then, so we're going to write some other element here, and we know that it is it forms or results in the release of an alpha particle. Now, what is an alpha particle? And you're like, all right. I mean, hopefully you know by now that it is a helium atom, which is just a, a four four over two in he. But if you don't, it's right here. So plus four two helium. Now, you just need to figure out, uh, you know, what's the deal here? What is this? So as far as how to do this, a couple simple ways. First, first thing that you want to do is look at your protons. So your protons go from 5, this 0 doesn't do anything, to 2. Or, or pardon me, they go from 5, and then they're losing 2. Because remember, everything over on this right side, this is our dividing line, everything over here has to add up. You know, so 2 plus whatever's on the bottom here has to add up to 5, because that's a 0, so it's got to add up to 5. So 2 plus what equals 5? And you're like, well, it's 3. And I have to know that 2 plus what equals 5 is 3. So you look it up, and you're like, okay, what has 3 protons? And you're like, oh, it's lithium. So you'll write a little 3 here, and you know that that 3 goes with lithium. Last but not least, you've got to figure out what number to put here. So you bombarded this boron, not you, but somebody bombarded this boron with, uh, with a neutron. And that resulted in there being a mass total mass number of 11. Because 10 plus 1 is 11. You used four of them, or four of them are over here being emitted as an alpha particle. So basically you're saying, what's 11 minus 4? All right. And that should result in, if you think about it, you know, what do we got there? Seven. So you put a 7 right there. Now to check. Check and see. So 10 plus 1, that equals 11. 7 plus 4, that equals 11. So your top things, those add up. You're good. Congratulations. Uh, your bottom, 5 plus 0 equals 5. I'm just writing this out to like be really specific and show you. 3 plus 2, that equals 5. Congratulations, you've done this. So your answer...
is this deal here. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much the idea. You're just going to go through and do all these and work through them. It can be a little confusing, but I don't want you to freak out and think it's going to be too, too challenging or anything. It's just, just we'll, we'll work through another one or two of them, and that'll be that. So okay, uh, let's do. That's another good one. We'll do two is basically the same. Why don't we do uh, let's do four and then we'll do six. All right. So so we have lithium seven. Lithium seven and we established that lithium's atomic number is three. Again, if you're not sure, look it up on the table. So lithium plus a proton. Remember, proton looks like this because a proton is a helium or is a hydrogen atom. Just remember that. So, got one, one, so we've got, we got our H. Cool. You could write a positive charge, but we're, we don't need to worry about the, the ionic charges for this. All right. It says it results in the formation of another element and the release of a neutron. All right. So, we know that we're going to have an element here, but then we also are going to have a neutron. Remember, a neutron. Looks something like that. So we got a one, a zero, and an N. And the goal again is that this is all got to match up. It's got to be balanced and add up. So the arrow is our dividing line, as always. I like to actually draw that in there. I think it helps people remember, honestly. So what we'll do, we'll go through and we'll say, okay, I am bombarding this, this lithium with this hydrogen, with this proton. Now, Clearly over here, if only a neutron is released, then the protons, you know, you're going to have three plus one. So what are you going to, you know, what's three plus one? Four, right? Now, at the same time, at the same time here, you know, when you were adding these up, you have to remember that you're not just going to be accounting for, you know, the mass number and the protons. You have to also look and say, okay, we need to make them equal on both sides. So if we are turning this, this three into a four because we're adding this proton, we also have to account by adding one to this top mass number. So this should, in theory, become an eight. But we have a neutron being released over here. So it's kind of weird. That 7 doesn't actually change. It just remains a 7. And that's the part that, that can be a little confusing to people, as I've said before. So now we have an atomic number of 4. We have our beryllium. So now atomic number of 4 protons, that's beryllium. Now, in the end, go through and check and make sure everything adds up. So you've got 7 plus 1. 7 plus 1, good. 3 plus 1, 4 plus 0. They match. That's the basic idea. All right. So let's do this last one. So argon, 40. Argon's atomic number is 18 off of the periodic table, plus an alpha particle. So 4, 2, helium. If you're not sure, again, look it up on the chart that I've been showing you. It says that will produce another element and it will result in the release of a neutron. So we are going to have a neutron. Okay. And then we are going to produce another element. So what do we get here? Well, we're pretty much going to have to go through and figure this out. So clearly on the bottom, we got 18 plus 2. That's 20. All right. So the atomic number of 20 is calcium. So we're going to write CA because that bottom part controls what you have here. And then finally, we are going to do 40 plus 4. Cool. Okay, so that's 44. However, there's a 1 here. You can't ignore that. So it's 40 plus 4. We've got to subtract 1. So it's actually a mass number of 43. 
And to check, you add them up, and you're like, okay, 43 plus 1. So that's 44. Over here, 40 plus 4. 44, you're good. 18 plus 2, 20. 20 plus 0, 20. So there you go. That's how you do nuclear bombardment reactions. That's the basic idea. All right, and that's all you're going to need in this class. So just if you have any questions, as always, reach out and ask.